guys welcome to my channel my name is Jordy if you don't know me and today's video is on this kind of half human half deer look it's kind of my take on the really popular trending deer look from last year or maybe it was the year before I never did a deer look then so I decided I wanted to do one now and kind of switch it up a little bit make it a little bit Dustin Baylord inspired a little bit spooky and this is the look that I came up with I really want to know what you guys are dressing up as for Halloween, so please let me know in the comments. For this look, I'm just going to start with my regular face routine, which has been the Watermelon Brightening Serum from Milk. I like to get this nice and rubbed in before I apply my moisturizer. And then my Ula Henriksen Sea Rush Brightening Cream. I'm going to use the ColourPop All-Star Primer today because my skin is really dry, I think from being sick and from it being really cold outside. Not very happy about that. This primer is light and very moisturizing. For foundation, I've been using the ColourPop foundation. I've been mixing the Medium 80 and Fair 35, and I'm just going to put both right onto my damp sponge. And then dab it on and blend it out. To conceal, I'm using the Milk Makeup Flex Concealer in the shade Porcelain. Conceal under my eyes. And highlight, all in one. My nose is so freaking dry from tissues. Makeup does not want to stick to it. I'm just blending out the concealer with a sponge and taking any excess product over here for a little highlight. I'll also bring some of this up onto my forehead. My contour is going to be quite different than normal today because I'm trying to look like kind of a half-human, half-deer type of thing. So I'm going to set this with powder and just work with powder with the contouring because it's a little bit more forgivable and buildable and I think that'll be easier. I'm going to set my face with the Milk Makeup Blur and Set Powder because it's the best powder in the world. Not sponsored, just love it. I'm gonna go in with a brush and press the powder in. I'm setting my whole face. You could definitely use a bigger brush to cover more area. I just don't feel like it. I'm gonna bust out my Anastasia Beverly Hills Powder Contour Kit, which I have not used in ages. I want my nose to be very wide which means we're going to contour it down the sides and leave the center highlighted really wide. This will kind of give me more of a, a snout. Now with a bigger brush, I'm going to go in and contour my cheeks quite heavily and even a little bit across to my nose. I'm also going to contour my forehead quite heavily. It's not so much a forehead contour as it is dear fur. Also gonna shade my jawline a little bit. I want to have really big eyes because that's one of the main features of a deer. They have big beautiful eyes. I can't use black contacts so I'm just going to enlarge around my eyes, make my eyelids look bigger, give it lots and lots of dimension so that my eyes look bigger, not my actual eyeballs. I'm gonna go into this Makeup London Obsession Palette Love Every Shade. It's a nice neutral palette. It's got what I need. And I'm first gonna go into the lightest brown shade and I'm gonna map out where my faux crease is going to be. Putting it much higher than my actual crease. It's gonna be kind of a Dustin Baylord inspired eye. His paintings have these big, beautiful, glossy eyelids. And then I'll go into the next darker shade and just darken that up a little bit. And then I'm gonna go right into black and go in and just darken that up. I'm also gonna use the same shades and super smoke out the bottom. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of concealer on the back of my hand. And I'm gonna cut out our faux eyelid. It doesn't have to be perfect, keeping everything a little bit sketchy. Now I'm going to go back into this palette and grab that light brown and I'm going to apply that to the outer corners of that cut crease. And then I'm going to grab the lightest shade of the palette and press that in the center. 
for some cool dimension on the lid. Now to get that kind of faux glossy look, I'm gonna go in with the NYX White Liquid Liner. And I'm gonna add little bits of shine just down the center of the lid. I love doing that, it's one of my favorite makeup things. Also gonna bring that down onto the bottom. I'm gonna do a little faux shine on the inner corner as well. Now I'm gonna go in with my NYX Epic Ink Liner and I'm gonna put on a wing because deers kind of have like a natural cat eye. It's quite pretty. So I'm just lining my lid and then I'm gonna do quite a large upturned wing. to kind of mimic the shape of their eye. I'm gonna leave the eyes for a second and I'm gonna move on to my nose. Back into this palette, starting with the lightest brown. Just going to shade the end of my nose and then a darker shade of brown closer to the end of my nose, keeping it blended. And then into the black, just on the very bottom of my nose, to elongate this a little bit. I'm bringing it down all the way to my nostrils and around the nostril. And we've got a cute little deer snout. Back in with the white liquid liner. I'm just going to add a little highlight on the end of the nose, because the pictures I have with deers, they've got a little bit of white above their nose. I'm also going to add a little highlight to the actual nose. I'm going to put some jumbo pencil in Milk by NYX in my waterline, so my eyes look a little bit bigger. Bringing it all the way down into the corner. On the pictures of deer that I have, it looks like their mouth is pretty much all black. So that's kind of a cute white underlip and a black upper lip. I'm going to do my top lip black and I'm going to do it quite rounded. And then with this little bit of black that I applied to the inner part of my bottom lip. I'm going to blend it into just a nude shade. This is Ambre from Saint Marcel, and I can't wait to use it in a beauty look. It's so stunning. A lot of the deer makeups that I have seen have the white dots within kind of the brown contoured areas. In my pictures of deers, none of them have any white spots on their face. I think the white spots on the face are just kind of to incorporate the spots from their body. You guys know that I add freckles to every single look that I do, so this look's going to be no different. I thought about doing them in white, but I think I'm just going to do them in brown. I forgot to mention that the black lipstick that I was using is the Smashbox Tar Pit lipstick. For the freckles, I'm going to use the Psychic Medium lipstick, also from Smashbox, and a little pointy brush. And I'm gonna do them around the eye, almost like pointillism around that shading. I'll keep them really close together, really close to the shadow, kind of disperse them as they get farther away. I'll bring you closer so you can actually see what I'm talking about. Bring them across the center of the nose. Obviously doing them quite unrealistic and a lot bigger and more noticeable than I would if I was doing a beauty look. Going back into this palette, I'm going to use a mixture of the black shade and the brown shade to draw in some really fluffy brows. Just super messy and sporadic. The eyebrows are kind of blended into the eyeshadow look anyway. I'm also going to take a little bit of black. And just go in and kind of outline the cut crease. 
Now I'm going to put on some Rouge and Rogue Miss Fury lashes and I'm also going to put on some of these crazy dollar store Halloween lashes just in pieces because deers have such pretty long eyelashes except they tend to stick straight out. The lash is much too long for my actual lid but I'm not going to trim any off and I'm going to try and stick it kind of more so to my liner again just to make the eyes look bigger. I'm gonna let these lashes dry and then I'm gonna put on mascara and then I'm gonna put on these crazy lashes because I don't know how well they're gonna hold on if I try and put mascara on once they're on. In the meantime, I am going to put my NYX Worth the Height mascara on my bottom lashes and now the lash should be stuck on enough that I can go in with mascara. These things are so crazy. I wonder what they'd look like uncut. Ah! Yikes. I'm just snipping off little sections. And I'm gonna start on the outer corner. And I'm just gonna add a couple, just for fun. Ugh, it's tickling my eyebrow. I might have to grab more of these while Halloween is still in stores. I'm gonna let them dry and I'm gonna trim them a little bit because this one's a little bit out of control. I think I'm gonna leave it at four, even though I really don't like to use even numbers. Look at, they're longer than my eyebrows. So crazy. I'm gonna let them dry, I'm gonna do the other eye, and then I'm gonna trim them, and I'll be right back. The last thing I'm gonna do is add a tiny bit of highlight on the lip. A little bit more on the inner corner. And now I'm going to put on my deer accessories. I decided to use a dark brown and black wig. I thought it was kind of more deer than my green hair. I used these little elf ears and I just clipped them onto the wig instead of putting them on my ears so they stuck out like a deer ear. I thought that using like a, a human-y ear would kind of play up on the half human, half deer thing. And of course, my antlers. Just in case you can't tell what I'm trying to look like. can't decide which position they look better in. I think I like them like that. You may have noticed that I'm wearing a leopard print jacket. I know it doesn't really fit, but I didn't have any deer spot jacket and I thought this was pretty close and it matches the wig, so it works. The ears are from Amazon. The antlers are from Value Village. I'm not sure where the wig is from in my head, but I will find it and link it below. Doo -doo. This headband won't stay on my head. Thank you guys for watching my Dear Girl tutorial. Stay tuned for more Halloween stuff. We've got more stuff coming. See you in the next one.